Now then YouTube, I'm the Tough Man and welcome to the final episode of Aston Villa Manager Mode. Welcome to the last and final episode of the Aston Villa Manager Mode. Not only is it the last of the episode of Final Th Last and final episode of the Aston Villa manager mode, but it is the last and final episode of FIFA 15 entirely before FIFA 16 comes out. I will still be doing daily uploads on Hague Yorkie. I just don't know what they're going to be just yet. So keep your eyes out, guys. There might be some new things coming along that I'm going to try out just until FIFA 16 comes out, and then I'm going to be banging all that content out for you guys. So today... We find out whether or not we can take over the lead again from Manchester United. It's all in Manchester United's hands now. But not only that, we get to see whether or not we win the league. Um, and all in this episode. We've got West Ham, we've got Southampton, and we've got Burnley. Now, we've got a decent running in terms of games. But we all know, guys, how this game is. And, I mean, I have made it vocally clear in the last couple of episodes how this game can be. So, we've definitely got ourselves, or at least I think we have, we just need one more win to get uh, Champions League football. And I was uh, not thinking at the start that it wasn't even going to be possible to get that. Uh, but we've got the two signings, Sarko and Milner on the right, and we just it, it's been a hell of a lot better. If I'd have kept Joe Cole on the right-hand side, I really don't think we would have had anywhere near as much... Um, you know, as much success. And again, with just Grealish on that left-hand side, I don't think we've had a, we would have had as much success. Um, Sanchez has been absolutely key. Pradel at the back as well, although he had a shaky start when he came. He certainly ended up being one of my favourite players that I've ever signed for any club. So that's saying something. Um, let's get straight on with it then, guys. The first game coming up is against West Ham. This is to win the Premier League, remember guys, this episode. Let's see if we can do it. It is going to be my first team that's going to go out there, guys, because, I, well, you know, what better way to finish off the series than using my entire first team all the time. We should be fully fit for the last three games of the season. And uh, they're pretty decent, guys. They are pretty decent. And Zogbia could do with uh, an improvement, but he's still been fantastic. I mean, he's got good footwork as in Zogbia. For a 76 rate, it has definitely got some good footwork. Uh, Fabian Delph has been fantastic as well, making improvements. Sanchez has been amazing. Pradel has been ledge. Uh, Guzan, not so much, guys. 79 rated, that doesn't make any sense. But Sarko has been brilliant on that left-hand side. What a signing he's been. And James Milner as well. But Benteke, just standout performer. Anyway, a home game against West Ham. The first game of the final episode of Aston Villa, and it is Aston Villa versus West Ham. It's a home game. We need wins, guys. Just one win will guarantee us Champions League football, and that is what I was after at the start of the season. But we're looking for Manchester United to slip up. Oh, you know, they're in the fucking, they're in the bottom three, guys. This is going to be a difficult game. Oh, this is a fantastic ball now. Look at this, guys. And Zogbia, ball in. Ben Teke! And it's 1 0, guys. Get the fuck off the screen, fly. It's 1 0. This is exactly the start we wanted. Lovely turn in from Enzogbia, I think it was. A nice little ball across, and Ben Teke puts it in the back of an empty net, practically. The goalkeeper came out, was nowhere near it. And uh, just a fantastic ball it was to Enzogbia, or was it Delph? I can't remember. But what a ball across as well, and in the back of the net. He tried to hit the goalkeeper as much as he could there. But the goalkeeper sprawled all over the floor, and it's Collins nearly took his fucking head off. That is dangerous play. That little kung fu kick to the fucking face. But it's 1-0. Get in. Delph. Sarko. Strikes. And it's just over the bar there for Sarko. Pushing for a second already. Come on now, Aston Villa. This is what I like to see. Oh, that was close, that. That was really close. Down the left-hand side with Sarko. Cuts on the inside. No, he doesn't. Ah, fucking had you there, boy. Whips it across. Oh, it's the wrong fucking guy. Why is Benteke not there instead of fucking Delph or in Zogbia? Don't give me that shit again at the end of this fucking playthrough, I tell you. And that's it. It's half time, guys, and the score is currently 1 0. Um, not really an interesting half. 
to be fair. There's one, there was one goal, and that's practically it. <laughs> that's all that happened. But uh, let's see what happens in the second half. The score between Crystal Palace and Manchester United is nil-nil, guys. That is good, but look at that. I mean, it's we've had most... We haven't had most of the possession at all. What am I on about? Um, but two shots, one on target for both teams. Not a really interesting half, guys, I'm afraid. Oh, well, here we go, guys. I've won the ball here. Fuck off. There's no way. Fucking bullshit. What a load of shit that is. What a load of shit. Come on, everybody. Get fucking back. I'm on ultra defensive. Are you having a laugh? If that would have gone in, I'm fucking fuming. Where is everybody? I have it on ultra fucking defensive. Jesus Christ. What the flying fuck was that? I don't care. That's it. The game is over, guys. It was a slender 1-0 victory in the end. Other than a couple of key highlights that I can really pick out, it was a pretty boring game, I have to say, guys. But three points nonetheless, and we have to see what's going to happen with Manchester United. Let's have a look at the stats, though, first. Will that, will that be the first thing to pop up? Yeah, six shots, one on target for me. West Ham, three shots, one on target. They had more possession, of course. Let's see about the uh, the result. Well, it was nil-nil, guys. So we've gone back above Manchester United. We've got two games left of the season now. This is crazy. There is one point in it, guys. Okay, look at that, guys. One point ahead. That is exactly what we want to see. It is now in our hands of whether or not we can win the Premier League. It's going to be difficult these last couple of games. I have no doubt about it, guys. This is the team. It's my first team once again that's going to be facing off against Southampton away from home this time. Second game of the final episode of Aston Villa and FIFA 15. Southampton versus Aston Villa at the St. Mary's Stadium. Can we win? We need to win. We need to win. And also keep an eye on Man uh, see what Manchester United are doing because if they slip up and we win here, we've won the Premier League before we even go into the last game of the season. But we need to beat Southampton first, regardless. And the ball straight down the right here. I tried to get in front of the man here. Fuck off! This is bullshit! I fucking hate it when they do that. Because it just doesn't make sense. My guy just stops, like, ooh, firing all of the fucking players. Bullshit! Going down towards Shane Long. Tries the ball in the middle. Lawton's just giving him it back. Tadic! He's come back to Tadic. Guzan, fuck! <laughs> Holy shit! Tried to get the centre backs across and they're fucking not moving. Davis. Ball in. Del fucking hell. Row the ball and it's 1 0. Southampton have been all over me in this first half, guys. I've got none of the ball and when I do get the ball, they're so slow in possession. So fucking slow. And Southampton easily just popping one away there. Just so easy. It's half time, guys, and the score is 1-0 to Southampton at the moment, guys. I cannot get the ball anywhere near their goal. And when I do get it into the box, it's a crap ball into the box. And I just can't I can't do it. I literally cannot do it at the moment. It's 1-0 at half time. Let's have a look, see about the uh, other results from around the country. Southampton have just... Oh, shit, I've just fucking skipped it. Look at that. No shots, none on target. And Southampton have absolutely fucking owned me. And I can't, I can't see the other results now. But um, what's this? No, we can't restart the match. That would be cheating. In towards Sanchez now. And there he is. Ready and waiting. Oh, Bentec here. <sighs> it just doesn't seem to be our time, guys. It really doesn't seem to be our time. That's our first effort on goal. And it's Sanchez who whipped that ball in, not fucking Milner. Milner's been all over the goddamn place. Shit today. Schneiderlin. Oh, for fuck's sake. What is the point in standing challenges or sliding challenges or any challenge for that matter? Because it just goes past you like you're fucking not there. Oh, this is ridiculous. What the hell is that? Well, I can see the Premier League just slipping away, guys. Just Shane Long as well beats the goalkeeper. 
It doesn't make sense. I mean, look, it's fucking bullshit. Shane Long and the fact that fucking Pradle and Ron Vlar is in the middle of that. The smallest fucking guy there, Shane Long, wins the header because fucking fucking goose and shit in the air and Ron Vlar doesn't even jump. Hello. Surely it's going to be three because I can't get near the fucking ball here. Ron Vlar gets it out for a corner. When you see the stats of this game, it's just FIFA. It's just FIFA, guys. It's the end. We've lost 2-0. So whatever advantage we did have in the last game, it's all going to come down to the final game of the season. We've definitely got Champions League football, so, you know, goal accomplished. But I was so hoping to win the league, but we've had a horrendous time of it lately. Let's go and have a look at the stats. Fucking Southampton just ripped me apart. Absolute 50-50 possession. Fuck you. Fuck you. That, that is complete and utter bullshit right there, guys. Complete and utter fucking bullshit. There was a guy at the back. Um, what's his fucking name? For Southampton. And he was just every fucking where. Gardos. That was what his fucking name was. He was absolutely fucking everywhere. Everywhere I turned, I just could not get past that guy because he was there. It doesn't matter if it was in midfield. It doesn't matter if it was right fucking back, left back. Gardos was always fucking there. Every which way I fucking turned today. Two shots, one on target. It was woeful. Absolutely woeful. Let's take a look at that. Manchester United beat Arsenal 2-1. It's all down to the last game of the season, and it's back on Manchester United. Well, guys, look at that. Two points ahead of Manchester United. They need to lose. If they draw, then it goes down to goal difference, in which case, oh, my God, that is so fucking close. That is so close, guys. But, I mean, when you look back a, a month or two, when we were massively ahead, I mean, it just... Is it, script, is it me, or is it scripted? Is it seriously scripted to to make you have a, a, a bit more of a juicier finish to the season rather than just running away with it. Is it just me? I'm sure it can't be. I'm sure it can't be. But anyway, we don't have to worry about it anymore, guys. This is our last and final game. I'm going to go out all guns blazing with my team. We've got Champions League football, which is exactly what I hoped for at the start of this playthrough. So whether or not we can win, well... It's been a very interesting last few games and a very interesting last few episodes for you guys. But we're going to finish everything today with a home match against Burnley. The last and Welcome final game of the last and today final episode of the what last and the final series of FIFA 15 is here, guys. It's Aston Villa versus Burnley. Burnley are bottom, so we're probably going to lose this one, guys. We've already got Champions League football. That is what I set out to do. We need Manchester United to lose, and we need to win to win the Premier League. All comes down to the last game of the season, guys. Sarko. Still Sarko. He's going all the way. Sarko. Oh, and he nearly, nearly got all the way through there, did Sarko. What an absolute legend he's been. What a signing that Sarko has been for Aston Villa on this playthrough. Whips it in. Benteke! It's 1-0! It's been chalked off for offside! Fuck you, game! There's that fucking gremlin in there again. That was... I thought that was on. Oh, that is fucking harsh, man. That is harsh. Benteke can't turn for shit, though. It's like trying to turn a tank. It's fucking stupid. Is this game for turning the fucking players? It has been for months since they brought that system in. It's been fucking stupid. Go on! Benteke! Yo, oh, how do you save that? God! It really wants us to fucking work for it. It really does. How they can save those fucking goals, I have no idea. We've had a goal chalked off and the CSAC with an absolutely fucking world-class save right there. Pradle! No, that's not fucking Pradle. And it falls to um, the opposition. Ref, that was a foul. Let's have it. Look how long it takes. Whips it in. Benteke! Yes! Game!
get in! We just need Manchester United to lose now. And Burnley not to score. But finally, Ben Teke gets one on target. And it's not offside, guys. Get the fuck in there, son. 1-0. Ben Teke with the strike. Ooh, that was a close one there from Ben Teke. A nice effort just before halftime. What was that? What the fuck was that? You call that a pass? Look at the amount of power I get on that pass as well. Look, it's fucking stupid. Oh, good skill. It's fucking half-time bullshit time, that's what it is. Didn't intercept it. It's Chalabar. Still Chalabar. Been about seven minutes added time here. Ings, Guzan can't fucking hold shit. Look at him. Look at him. You shit bastard. You fucking caused us, uh, like, God knows how many points of damage this season, I swear. The corner. Just get rid of it. Or not. How much more time are you going to put on here? Fucking thank God for that. We've survived the first half. Holy shit. It's currently 1-0. We've been all over this, guys, until the last fucking bullshit time of half time. But we need to know what's happening in that United game. We need to know what's going to happen in that United game. And currently, Manchester United are drawing with Hull City 0-0. As it stands, we would win the Premier League on goal difference. <laughs> that is crazy. Holy shit. We could be 45 minutes away from winning the Premier League here. Or probably Manchester United will score in the last fucking two minutes. Sanchez's ball of the top is a lovely ball as well towards James Milner. He cuts back, whips it in, bent! It was right at him. All he had to do was stick it in. Look at those ears. <laughs> All he had to do was stick it in, guys. But nothing. Absolutely nothing. Towards Fabian Delph. Ball towards Sanchez now. Sanchez! Boosh! Oh, fuck! <laughs> No! Oh, piss off with the fucking shit system! Pass the ball! Fucking hell! Kitely. Kitely. Chippier. No, come on! Get the right player selected at least. Yes! We won the game. I have... Did we win? Did we actually win the league? I think we may have won the league, guys. I think we may have won the league and possibly did it on goal difference. In the last episode, in the last game of the season. It looks like we have. That is crazy. Oh, my God. Yeah, there's the confetti saying that we are, in fact, winners of the Barclays Premier League. Get in! Fuck you, Manchester United! Not having that! It's not the fucking colours of Aston Villa, but still. There we go. I, I honestly thought that we'd lost it there, guys. But last game of the season, Manchester United slipped up. And we've won the Premier League. That, I, I'm surprised. I really am surprised that we won that. Two scrappy 1-0 victories in the last episode, guys. Two scrappy and one fucking absolute mauling by, South by Southampton. Scripted. Who the fuck knows? Who the fuck knows? But look at that. We've won the Premier League. That is crazy. That is crazy. When I started the series, guys, I wanted to get into uh, European football. That was my aim with Aston Villa. But quickly, after a couple of really good signings, we ended up up there. We went through a period where we were kind of like mid-table, but then we went bang, straight up there. And uh, what can I say? What can I say, guys? A 1-0 victory. Burnley's one shot, one on target. 
And it was Hull 1, Manchester United 0. Hull actually beat Manchester United, guys. Wow. I'm, I'm genuinely surprised that we won that. Genuinely surprised. Chelsea ended up cl pretty close behind. So Aston Villa, Manchester United, Chelsea and Arsenal get Champions League football. Where did fucking Liverpool finish? Eighth. <laughs> oh, never mind. So going down would be Leicester, Sunderland and Burnley. Who try as they might just couldn't win in that last game. Even though they did fucking try, I can tell you that much. But Southampton, look at that, the way down there and they absolutely fucking mauled me. 122, drawn 8, lost 8. One point in it. That is crazy. Anyway, guys, that is going to be it for FIFA 15. Yes! No more! Do I have to play this shitty game? And I can start afresh with FIFA 16. I'm pretty sure, guys, that I'm going to go into FIFA 16 and there's going to be shit that's going to annoy the fucking hell out of me, as it usually does. And I fully believe that FIFA 16 will probably end up being my final FIFA, to be fair. It just depends on whether or not they've fixed any of the shit that's in this game. I don't know. We'll see. We will see. But they're all about the fucking ultimate team now. They're all about all that crap. They're all about making the Wongeridge. They're a company, you know, but if you're going to put a game mode in there, at least make it decent. And I'm afraid... The career modes just, it keeps, it keeps going under the radar nowadays. But anyway, guys, that is it for the Aston Villa manager mode. I do hope that you've enjoyed it. If you have, please go ahead and leave a like, guys. Go ahead, make some comments on this last and final episode of FIFA 15. What do you know, what do you, what do you think for FIFA 16? There will be a video coming out relatively soon, guys, on which team you want me to be for FIFA 16. I'm going to stick a straw poll in that video for you guys, um, and we'll see. Well, thank you very much for watching, guys. If you followed this series, 17 episodes of brilliance and also 17 episodes of utter annoyance and also 17 episodes of months. Here's tomorrow months. Anyway, guys, I will see you in FIFA 16. Until then, guys, I've been the top and as always, stay safe.